Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church in Pensacola. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Chad. Thank you so much for having me. We are continuing our conversation about things in the new year. We want to talk about New Year's resolution and your story in particular about how faith inspired you to lose weight and keep it off. What happened? Right. Yeah, I did lose 75 pounds. I was uh, 241 pounds. I'm about five foot ten. Mm -hmm. And then I, I went all the way down to 166. Right now I'm about 170 or so. But yeah, it really it was a faith journey. Something that really helped me was a close consideration of uh, the topic of temperance in Scripture. Yeah. Um, temperance is the idea of self-control. And when I reviewed temperance in the Bible, specifically in Galatians 5, there's a list of the fruits of the Spirit. Something kind of clicked in my brain. Yeah. You know, as Christians, we certainly want to be spirit controlled. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fact that temperance is listed as a fruit of the spirit implies that to be spirit controlled it means that we must also be self-controlled. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so, so that really hit home with me. I looked at Second Peter chapter one. There's a passage there that says, "Add to your faith." And several what I call holy affections are listed there. One of them is temperance. And then even got into First Corinthians chapter nine. Paul cautions famously about being a castaway. And one way to avoid, you know, he says, "Lest I." I have preached to others, I myself might also become a castaway. One way to avoid that is through self-control. He says he buffets his body, he brings it into subjection. And so all of those things kind of came together for me and it became you know, a realization that I need to take better care of myself. One of the concepts in here is the idea that we should be stewards to our bodies. What does that mean to you? Yeah, well, we only have one body, uh, and so we need to steward it well. We only get one shot, one chance uh, at this life, and this is a temporal life, and I uh, understand my citizenship is in heaven, and I'm so thankful that because of Christ, my home is in heaven, uh, but that doesn't negate the stewardship of things that God entrusts to our care while we're here uh, as pilgrims in this journey. All right, James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church. We'll talk a little bit more about this concept in the next hour of News 5 this morning.